all right here i want to show you how you can enlarge a given figure to a given proportion how you can enlarge a given figure to a given proportion we want to do enlargement of this particular figure that you can see here which is a five-sided polygon and we are enlarging from size 3 to size 5 that's what we have here enlargement from size 3 to size 5 so what you need, the first thing i need to do here is to extend this line so you extend this line and you also extend this line and after that so the next thing that you need to do is that you take your compass and make five equal divisions make five equal divisions on this line so let me reduce this okay so make five equal divisions on this line with any convenient radius so this is one so this is two here is three here is four and this is five so having done this i will number this this is one two three four and five okay now so the next thing that we are going to do is that from point b here draw a vertical line down from point b on the polygon so draw a vertical line down here so after you have done this so the next thing to do is that you find the midpoint of line a3 distance a3 midpoint of distance a3 so put your compass at point a extend to any convenient radius and you draw an arc up and down this then put it at point three draw an arc up and down like this then so we join this together to get the midpoint of distance a3 all right so this point where this bisector of distance a3 touch this line so we call it point x this is point x so the next thing is we also bisect the distance a5 bisect distance a5 so take your compass extend to any convenient radius draw arcs up and down here and then put the same radius at point 5 and draw arcs up and down so join this together Alright, so this point I will call it point Y. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw a semicircle between point A and 3. A semicircle between point A and 3. So put your compass at X and extend it to 3 or you extend it to A. Then draw a semicircle like this. So this semicircle touch this vertical line that we drew from point B, it touched at this point. I will call this point here. I will call it point 3 on the vertical line. Where the semicircle touch the vertical line that we drew down from point B. And then the next thing is put the pinpoint of your compass at Y extend to 5. And we also draw semicircle between point 5 and point A. So semicircle goes like this. Alright, so wherever the semicircle touch this vertical line that we drew down from B, so we call it 5. We call it 5. Alright, so having done this, the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to radiate lines from point B, passing through E, passing through D, and passing through C. What I mean is this, from point B, draw a line passing through point B like this, a point E. So from B again, draw a line passing through point D and then from B, draw a line passing through point C, okay? So the next thing that we are going to do here is that we join A3 together with a straight line. Join A3 together with a straight line like this. Join A3 together. Okay, so after we have done this, so the next thing that we are going to do is that set your cell square. Set your cell square on line A3. Set your cell square on line A3 like this. 
and you shift the cell square, shift the cell square, after you have supported it with your ruler, shift the cell square to 0 0.5 and draw a line. So draw a line from here, so it goes like this. So when you touch this line, so you, top, you stop it there. So you stop it there. So this point is point A1. So that's point A1 for enlargement. So the next thing that we are going to do is that, so to get point E, so you are going to do it, we are going to get AE, and then we go like that to get D and C. So set your cell square on line AE, support it with your ruler, as I've done here, then shift the cell square to point A1. Shift the cell square to point A1. Draw a line from A1, so it goes like this. So when you touch this line that came out from point E, so this is E1. Then to get point D1, so we set our cell square on line DE. On line DE, support it with the ruler, then you shift to E1 like this, then you draw a line from here. So when you touch the line that came out from D, so you stop it there, so this is point D1. Okay, so the next is to get point C1. So set your cell square on line CD and support it with your ruler like this. Then you shift the cell square to point D1. Then you draw a line from here. Touching this line that came out from C. So this is point C1. Alright, so we are done with the enlargement. So what I need to do now is to make this line a thick line okay all right so that is the enlargement so that is the enlargement so let me make this line let me make it thick so that we can see it very well so i also need to make this a thick line all right Okay, so having done this, the enlarged figure is A1, E1, D1, C1, and B. Or I say B, A1, C1, D1, and E1 is the enlarged figure. So therefore, we have enlarged this given figure, A, B, C, D, E. So we have enlarged it into 3 ratio 5. So it's as simple as I've done it here. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And don't forget to practice this thing. Practice it. Practice it. Practice other ones uh, so, that, so that you can master it. And also share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and keep on practicing as you are watching and listening. Thank you and God bless you.